One thing that's really useful about Indian music versus Western music, okay, is in the West, we tend to put verses and choruses come later. So a conventional pop song would go like verse, verse, chorus. Mm -hmm. Like it would take a little while to get to the point. Indian bhajans don't do that. They, they actually start with the hook. So in a certain way, like that's a useful feature um, in terms of the modern era. So, so that's actually how part of this got constructed too. So some of the songs in the album start with the chorus itself. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that's what Indian music does too. It's a folk tradition. Uh, kirtan is meant to elicit people singing along. Ages ago, the first time I remember going to Rome, um, what struck me was that they built all of these cathedrals using the marble from the ancient temples. You know, like they were literally building a new religion with the bricks and stones of the old one. In some ways, I think we're doing the same thing. We're taking the marble pieces from these traditions of both Hinduism and Sufism and Christianity, and, and we're taking those stones and we're building something new with it. We're taking the stones of Eastern ideas about raga and the effect of melodies on your emotions, um, and we're fusing those with um, Western ideas about harmony and creating a new temple from the stones of the old.